This is 3 News Daily. Hello everyone, welcome back to 3 News Daily on this snowy Tuesday, November 28th. I'm Stephanie Haney. Thank you for being here with us in Northeast Ohio. Now most of the heavy snow seems to have cleared out this afternoon, but it was definitely a rough morning commute if you had to get out early. Let's take a look at some of this morning's events. Heading out east into the primary snow belt, which got the most snow this morning. This was the view around 3 a.m. in Willoughby. Preliminary reports by the National Weather Service show snow totals out east ranging from 2 inches to 13 inches in South Madison and Jefferson. ODOT told us this morning crews were not able to keep up with the snowfall rates and Sunday's rain made it harder for them to pre-treat roads. Meanwhile, snow out west didn't start picking up until later in the morning. The National Weather Service reports almost four inches fell on Cleveland's west side. There were near whiteout conditions at times, but that is all cleared out. All throughout this evening, Chief Meteorologist Betsy Kling will bring you the very latest from our weather center, including when we're going to see temperatures in the 50s again later this week. Now, after weeks of speculation, the previous owner of the iconic Christmas Story House finally announced his buyer. They posted to Facebook this morning that the new owner is Joshua Dickerson. He's actually been with the museum's company for almost 16 years. Dickerson is the current CEO and now will take on a stake in the company and become its managing partner. The iconic house was first listed for sale over a year ago. Now to Solon for an update on who police believe is responsible for a man's murder. Police have arrested 32-year-old Robert Gulia, who they believe killed his own father. Robert is charged with aggravated murder. Police were called to a home on Sherwood Drive last Wednesday for reports of a man not breathing. That's when they found 65-year-old Theodore Gulia inside his home with severe injuries to his head and other parts of his body. Police say Robert Gulia is their only suspect. Now, TSA officers at Cleveland Hopkins Airport discovered this gun in a passenger's carry-on bag on Friday during the Thanksgiving travel rush. That brings the total of guns found at the airport to 33 this year. TSA reminds travelers to think twice about what you're bringing in your carry-on bags. A penalty for something like this can reach as high as $15,000. Now, here's good news for Cleveland police. City Council approved a pay hike for patrol officers and supervisors in Cleveland. Most positions will receive a 14% pay increase starting in January. They also approved a $5,000 signing bonus for trainees. As part of the deal, officers agreed to 12-hour shifts. In a statement, the president of the Cleveland Patrolman's Union, Jeff Fulmer, said this. This is the first step to ensuring Cleveland police officers are paid fairly for working one of the most dangerous cities in America. Now, the new incoming ownership of the Westside Market has announced its first executive director. The Cleveland Public Market Corporation has named Rosemary Mudry for the role. She currently leads West Park CAMS neighborhood development and has also worked in community development roles in Old Brooklyn and Ohio City. The nonprofit will take over operations at the Westside Market early next year. Now we know five more Rite Aid locations are closing in Northeast Ohio as the chain goes through bankruptcy protection. The stores in Fairlawn, Canton, Willoughby, Broadview Heights, and East Liverpool are the latest locations that will shut down. In all, Rite Aid has said it expects to close about 7% of its stores initially, but more closures could come at a later date. Rite Aid has about 2,200 locations in 17 states. Now, a consumer alert for iPhone users this afternoon. Police have issued a warning about Apple's latest iOS 17 update. The new name drop feature allows users to share contact information and photos by holding two iPhones together. Authorities say users could inadvertently share private information. This is if you tap the share button when it pops up on your phone. Name drop defaults to on once iOS 17 has been installed. So if that bothers you, you'll need to turn it off in your iPhone settings. And just announced today, Avenged Sevenfold will be making a stop in Cleveland as part of their 2024 tour. They'll be going on tour with their most recent album, Life is But a Dream, and they play Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse on March 9th. Tickets go on sale this Friday. We have more information on a special fan pre-sale if you want to get those tickets on WKYC.com. All right, thanks for being with us for today's edition of 3 News Daily. Wherever you're watching or listening, we appreciate you. We'll be back tomorrow with more of your top stories from Northeast Ohio. Stay safe and warm out there, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.